Hello and welcome to Willy Morgan and the Curse of Bone Town. So I did some pondering and uh, some googling and the googling reminded me that at the armory I'm already here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. I guess it's it's the armories in the same Same, we just need to go this way. Right. So, at the armory, there was a catapult that needed ammo. And we now have those pebbles. So, let's make use of them. This sign invites me to the marriage. It says, new arrival. Try it. Oops. Don't worry. It's an irresistible attraction to the kids. Mm. I'm gonna tidy up. I hope it won't take too long. Finally, let's see if there's a clue. Hopefully it's not loaded. Mm. Very good. Inside the barrel was a piece of the map. Roger's piece. I don't feel at ease with a real weapon in my pocket. I'd rather not take it with me. But I can't get rid of it here or the owner would get suspicious. I'd better leave it somewhere outside of the store. Looks like a good spot here. Now it seems much less aggressive. Uh, okay. So, that's also something I kind of figured on my own. Um, where was the, um, the seagull? See, we have these broken fortune cookie pieces. I think it is the only one able to digest it. There Great. We go. I can finally rummage through its nest. A five cent coin. It'll surely be useful. Ooh, we can get candy. Also, we've got these matches. I think this is the best possible way to use these matches. Once you used a certain kind of oil to light a fire. From the condition of the lighthouse, I'd say it's very likely there's still some left. I'm not risking burning anything, and I'm isolated from other houses. Great, but it's better to close the opening, or I'll risk that flame burning out. Good job! It can only be admired. Okay, so that didn't... I wouldn't know what to do of it didn't actually do anything. I don't really know how it works. There should be some instructions somewhere. I don't know how to make it work. Okay, so we'll need to find instructions. Uh, now that we have this coin... Let's go over here and we'll be able to get some candy. Five cent coin, do what you gotta do. Perfect, a jelly bean. Don't know how or where to actually use it. It's closed. The owner <sighs> has put up a no. I'll be right. Be actually. I better try later. Okay. <laughs> I think they can be used in a more useful way. Yeah, I didn't think we would do that. Um. 
Andy. Once again, I'm at a bit of a loss, but let's see. Can we bribe the horse with the candy? No horse can resist a treat. Better put it inside the manger. Aha. Uh -huh. So now we cut some of this hair off. Being very careful, I should be able to take what I need. Easy, horsey. You won't notice a thing. That didn't go too bad. Now I have these amazing horse hairs. I hope they come in handy. Ooh, they certainly will. Good idea. This way I should get a perfectly functioning bow. Finally, a functioning cello bow. Let's go play some music. Um... Here we go. If I remember correctly, it should be played like this. That noise again. Finally, the opening is big enough to allow access, at least for a hand. I don't need the bow anymore. Perfect, I can get my hand through. It's a piece of paper. Actually, it's a piece of kid's map. The map is still incomplete. How many more pieces are there? It's been well studied. Even now with six pieces, I can't get clear clues. Hmm. I'd rather not. I guess there's nothing else we can do here then. Okay, um... Do we need to break the church windows? Surely not. I think they can be used in a more useful way. I think they can be used in a more useful way. I think they can be used in a more useful way. Yeah. I think they can be used in a more useful way. I think they can be used in a more useful way. Really? Okay. Pitching machine. Hmm. I wonder if the uh, dude is back yet. It's closed. The owner will be the actual. I better. try breaking into the the chest in the library here it's 
It doesn't work. A peculiar key is needed, or something that could force this lock. I don't need it here. I don't need it here. Oh. I don't think that would work. I'm not an arsonist. <laughs> okay. I think they can be used in a more useful way. So, no. isn't back yet so we need to use up some time somewhere there was nothing at town hall for us we there wasn't anything at the amusement park either i don't think and we need to find instructions in order to be able to use the... Oh. Library. Instructions. Let's ask the librarian. Um... Oh. Or maybe not Thanks, then. Thanks, and goodbye. Thank you for visiting the Bone Town Library. If you need a specific... Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. Mm. I have no time to fix other people's things, too. I'm not doing any research in particular right now. It's not my priority right now. Okay, I... I guess not then. I'm trying to think of places where there's something that we've left unfinished. There was that crypt. Junk and coffin. And he was like, nope, I don't want to open that. I think they can be used in a more useful way. Yeah, I don't I don't think we can do anything here. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to consult Google again. So, um I'll pause the recording for a bit and uh do some googling and be right back. That didn't take long. Um, <laughs> I guess we didn't actually try to use the pitching machine after we put some fuel into it. So let's go do that and then things should start flowing along from there. You just have to press the button. Let's see what happens. No! Don't you dare! This is an order! I won't repeat it a second time! You just have to press the button. Let's see what happens. Father, was it you who screamed? Son, even the most meek and calm man would lose his temper over this outrage. Hmm, I don't understand. 
What are you talking about? Somebody dared to kickstart the devil's car. I still don't understand. Outside the church is a machine. A wicked machine. The kids of Bone Town used it to play. All that clamoring and laughter disturbed my concentration. It's not easy to write a two-hour sermon, but it's necessary to maintain a straight-laced community. I instructed never to use it anymore, and it's been years since it fell quiet. But today, someone has transgressed. It'll be necessary to rely on the Holy Scripture again. Are you planning to write a sermon about the Scriptures? Oh, no, son. This situation has to be resolved in the most drastic way. I have a task for you. You'll have to restore the order of things. I don't think I'm the right person for it. You're here in my presence, so you're the right person for the job. I didn't want it to come to this, but things are escalating. Take this sacred relic. It will be your mission to fix it and place it outside the church. Everything is already set up. A sacred aperture will host the world. It seems like just a sign to me. Young and pure of soul, it's the word that will prevent the newly started havoc from spreading any further. But it just says, play forbidden. Isn't that enough for you? My mind cannot suffer distractions. My sermon must be impeccable. Carry out your mission. But the sign is broken. Ask for help from the blacksmith right outside. Maybe he can help you. Okay. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye, totally, son. Totally seemed like a helpful person. I need help. I'm on a mission from God, or rather, from the Reverend. In this case, I can give you a second. What do you need? The Reverend has entrusted me with a mission. I have to fix this sign. Can I take one of your tools? I might have what you need. Inside the toolbox is a multi-purpose tool that serves to tighten, bolt, even open some specific locks. It's the only thing I can give you for your mission. The rest I need to repair this wreck. Make good use of it. Thanks. Oh, I will. Goodbye. Bye. I totally will. So, do we actually need it to... Oh. Be sure to make good use of it. As always, sir. Do we actually need it to fix this sign? Good idea. Perfect. Now the sign has a certain stability. Should work. Mission accomplished. I guess we go tell the Reverend. Mission accomplished, Father. Very good, son. I can sense that now the church and my concentration are protected. That hellish car won't have any power anymore. Technically, it's not off. It can be used again, but the word will stop it. Okay, if you say so. Um, no reward or anything? Goodbye. Goodbye, son. Hmm. Well, now I bet we can use that to open the lock here. Let's try. It works. I heard a click. Empty. It seems so strange. There's something that doesn't add up in this crate. Let's see. Just as I thought. There's a false back. I just need something to pry it open. It should work. Bingo. The nail file got stuck, but it doesn't matter. There's something a lot more precious inside. It's another piece of the map, and I think it's the teach one.
Almost there. I'm already at seven pieces. Hmm. Just like a couple more pieces left, I guess. Um. What do we do now? <laughs> I'm at a loss again. We don't seem to have anything that we're in the middle of anywhere anymore. So maybe the dude is back now? It's closed. The owner has put up a notice. <sighs> I'll be right back, thanks. He actually told me he was going to- I better try later. now I guess it's time to consult my good friend Google once again so um I'll be right back So, once again, that did not take long. We actually need to go to the church and use the pitching machine again, now that the use of it is officially forbidden. You just have to press the button. Let's see what happens. Oops. Ah! Oops. Technically, it wasn't all my fault. I just followed the reverend's instructions to the letter. Hmm. Hold still, son. Don't touch anything. At least, until I know who did it. All right. What happened? Somebody, some ungodly soul guided by an evil hand, damaged the sacred stained glass windows. Have you seen any black sheep wandering in my church? I think I saw some kids playing up front. I thought so. Surely it was one of them. Can you describe the person? Uh... Surely blonde. Anything else? Stocky. Any distinguishing marks? He had a slingshot. It's clear. The description matches Stanley. I'll go and resolve the situation. Nobody could disfigure the sacred church of Bone Town, shelter of the poor, symbol of faith, beacon of the community. Uh huh. And now. That he's gone. Weird. I could have sworn there were some micro inscriptions on the glass. Actually, this glass shard contains a piece of the map. Supposedly the one belonging to Reverend Drake. Now we just need to find one more piece. Finally, the dude is back. Let's go give him his flower. Perfect. Now I have everything I need. My recipe is practically done. It will be a drink that is sure to make waves in the world. Non-alcoholic, dark colored, sparkly. It could even cure a headache. I wouldn't want to ruin your dream, but I think that already exists. Actually, I believe you're even in danger of clashing with some mega corporations. 
I know the market very well. I managed to isolate and replace the secret ingredient with another. Really? Which one? Well, it's the root extract of a... Oh, hey. Ah, nice try, boy. You almost had me going there. It's the only ingredient that is not present on the list. Take it. I don't need it anymore. Thank you. Better read it away from prying eyes. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. This list is a bit strange. I can glimpse something under the text about the ingredients. It's a receipt. It says, I, Dr. Alfred Every, on July 15th, 2008, deliver to Steve Bonnet the artifacts found in the basement. In exchange, Mr. Bonnet transfers to the Every family, free of charge, the property of the building where the family business is actually located. The agreements will not be disclosed. Yours faithfully, Dr. Every. It's countersigned by Steve Bonnet, too. To which artifacts is Dr. Every referring? If the agreements have not been disclosed, the only one that would know anything about it is Uncle Steve. I'd better get over to his office to investigate. Okay, so now we go back there. Uh, where was it? Weird, Steve's not here. In the meantime, I could inspect his office looking for the receipt of Dr. Every. So weird. There are no notes on these papers. They're all blank. What can they do? Wait a minute. There's a button under here. I could be wrong, but they seem to have been placed in the way to hide something. There's nothing. Let's see what happens by pressing it. I wasn't expecting this. I just thought it was a drawer with some kind of mechanism. It closed back automatically. There's probably another device in this room that makes it open. Why all this secrecy? And what's this room? Better take a look around. Hmm. There's nothing useful here. A rope is always useful. Indeed. It's a fairly long rope. I thought it worked the same as the one in Steve's office. Instead, this is just a simple globe. There must be another way to get out of here. And what's this? It looks like some sort of diary. There's something inside. I don't think I'm mistaken. This is a piece of the map from Kid's crew. It's surely Every's, the last piece missing. Finally, the map is complete. On this piece, there are some coordinates. 47 degrees north by 78 degrees east. Brilliant. The coordinates are useless without the rest of the map. The light will guide you. 47 degrees north by 78 degrees east. It must have something to do with the old lighthouse. There's mm -hmm. also a strange coin. Why is it here? What does Steve have to do with this story? There must be something I'm still missing. Let's see if there's an explanation in the diary. Uh, Henry came back. He seemed like a kid on Christmas Eve said he has big um something he wants to share with me um finally found proof that the treasure really exists Revealed something... Uh, according to Henry's research... Every often returning from the pirate's life... Moved here to Bone Town? I have to stop by the old drugstore. A stroke of luck. After a few hours, I happened to... Something, something. 
some coordinates. I think Henry is going and he confided to me that he wants to go public. Behavior towards me is changing. I see him increasingly taciturn and he doesn't share any ideas. Uh, it'd be good if someone checked on him at the old inn. Uh, yesterday? Ah, oh, something. Still no trace of Henry's body. After two months, I decided the time has come to get back to work. The shock of Henry's disappearance seems to be waning. Uh, had to resort to city funds to finance the digs. Ah, I thought it was his doing. Um. So he's looking for the treasure then, huh? Even Bone Town's funds are about to run out. Um. I can't believe this. Steve knew. Actually. Steve is the architect of Dad's death, and all because of his envy and the longing to find Kid's treasure. To think they were so close, almost brothers. Dad really trusted him, but he should have guessed his changing, and Kid wasn't that stupid. All the pieces of the map are needed to find the treasure. I have to escape from here and unmask Steve. This diary will be the proof. Better go to the old lighthouse. The light will guide you. Let's hope that's true. All right. Boss, hey boss. What's going on? Boss. We can't find the young Morgan anywhere. Impossible. He can't be volatilized. Continue to search. If he has his father's insight, he has surely discovered something that we've been missing till now. I'm going back to my office. This city needs a person able to guide it. <laughs> All right, let's go. It's Steve and the innkeeper. They're in collusion. I have to get out of here as soon as possible. Well, I certainly can't use the hatch now. I mean, he's going to be down there, isn't he? Better let some fresh air in. Also, we have a rope here. Good idea. This seems to be the only possible way out. I guess we've looked at everything, haven't we? I don't want to take all of this with me. Yeah, we have. Okay. See you soon, Steve. Do the lighthouse then. Things are getting very interesting. But I'm thinking once we get to the lighthouse, that'll probably um, put us on a bit of an adventure with the treasure and everything. So um, we'll go do that in the next episode. For now, thank you so much for um, spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. Please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.